What's up, it's Peanut Butter Wolf. It's so cold in the B. I'm here. Karma Loop, what up? Yeah, Dilla, Madlib Doom, like those guys, I was always like humbled in their presence and you know, like I grew up as a Catholic and I like had all this like fear and admiration for Jesus Christ. And that's what I look at those three as. They're like kind of like Jesus, like in that they um, piqued my interest and curiosity and just admiration, you know, like years ago and like to this day still. So there's, there's a lot of people that are like that in my mind that I work with and it doesn't really like, it doesn't matter who they are, but like that's kind of what I do stone throw for is like everybody I work with is are people that I admire musically, talent, you know. As far as like who the new people are, like I'm always confident in my ear and what works for me and then kinda the idea of Stone Throw is to try to find people who listen to similar stuff that I do, so I'd rather try to put out music I like and then deal with the repercussions after than like try to try to guess what other people like. So that's that's the mission statement. As far as my record collection, that's just something that I always like. I, I got an early start, like I started buying records in the 1970s and like most people haven't really, I guess, that are still doing it now. So I got an edge on people in that way. But yeah, I have a lot of records and I'm a record nerd. I mean, I think everyone who collects things is a nerd. Like if you collect Star Wars baseball cards or figurines or whatever it is, like I think cool people don't collect anything. They'll just throw stuff away. They don't care. So I'm trying to be like that, but for now, I'll just be a nerd. So my, my friend Charisma, he died in 1993, December. At that point, I was just making music. I wasn't, I wasn't really like thinking business or any of that. Like that, that didn't interest me at all. And it really still doesn't interest me. Like I, I deal with people who handle my business, but like, as far as Stone Throw goes, like that's my record label. I, I kind of am more involved in the creative. So, but I didn't want to be in a music group again after he passed away. I was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'll just like I could DJ on my own, like as a solo person. But then I don't want to be like I don't want to collaborate with one person. So it's hard to explain, but it makes sense to me. I don't like to answer the question of what to tell the youth for their goals because like I never followed it when I was a kid. I mean, a lot of people that people that were older than me told me to like be sensible and not like take chances and stuff, but I always took risks and I always believed in those risks because it was music based. So I would just say, yeah, I don't like to give people advice, man. I think like people, they figure it out on their own. Like I, I dealt with someone today that had a lot of hatred in their heart and it made me feel sad for them because like when you deal with the world with hate you're not gonna make it and like I have a lot of anger and resentment like stuff that happened in my childhood but I try to like push it down and like stay positive I guess that is advice like if you stay positive then you'll attract positivity you know for me I'm glad that there was a film that was made about Stone's Throw because now people like understand like what I wanted to do and now it makes it easier for me to do it like before I felt a lot of pressure to do certain things that other people wanted but now I can just like people know like I, I laid down the rules with that film like this is what I do and you know it's not like to take for granted anybody who's listening to Stone's Throw or anything like that but like I, I don't I don't, know. I don't know what I'm trying to say with it, but like as far as like trying to fit in a cookie cutter box of other people, what other people think, it, in a way, it kind of Stone Throw is exclusive. Like if if you understand it, then and you appreciate it and you like support it, then like I, I I'm very happy like that you're a part of you know whatever. It's Peanut Butter Wolf. You're watching Karma Loop TV in Boston, where my parents grew up. I live in California. Don't hold it against me.
on fire is smoking great marijuana. Definitely retire smoking mid. No one wants that shit. Send that shit back to Mexico and stop the drug cartels from beheading people. On fire. On fire right now is plane travel. They need to retire that talk of traveling in a tube across the country in an hour like a...